Welcome back, party people. Now it's Justin's birthday. Hey, why does he have the same cake? Can't he have his, um, mm, chocolate? Okay, so Justin ate a fourth of the cake, and Joy ate one-sixth of the cake, and we want to know how much more of the cake Justin ate. So that is going to be subtraction, and much like addition with fractions, we can't subtract these the way they are, because first we need to, if you said make common denominators, you are correct. So let's do that. So we could multiply 4 times 6 to get a common denominator of 24, but 4 and 6 also have 12 in common, so we could do that. So on our cake that's currently fours, if each of those fours was made into three more pieces, then we would have 12 pieces. So now we have three twelfths. On the right, we have six, but if we would like to have twelfths, so we can multiply top and bottom by two and create 12 pieces, and now we have two twelfths that Joy ate. Now, if we want to find out how much more Justin ate than Joy, we can subtract. We leave the denominators alone, we subtract the numerators, and we find out that he ate one twelfth more. Let's do one of these together. So now we've got Dustin with the same cake. Come on now. Okay, so Dustin's going to share his cake with D. He ate two ninths, she ate a fifth. Now those look real close, but let's find out how much more he ate. The best case for common denominators here will be to multiply the 9 and the 5. So to get from 2 ninths to something with a 45 in the denominator, we need to multiply by 5. We do that top and bottom, and we get 10 45ths. For the fifth, to get 45 in the denominator, we'll need to multiply by 9. So we'll do that top and bottom and get 9 45ths. Now we find out that the difference is... Subtracting the numerators, leaving the denominators alone, 1 45th. Okay, now you know how to subtract fractions. Don't forget your common denominators.